Hey guys, this is Luke with Goo Gaming, uh, coming to you with uh, something a little different. Uh, we've got a Weiss Schwartz deck profile today. Uh, we went to a regional yesterday. Um, Mr. Jabin Bauer right here got, what, what place did you get? Second place. Second place, alright. Uh, what'd you play? I played Go Choose a Rabbit House, Red Blue, very standard build. Alright, uh, show us what you got. Alright, this is actually just the best card in the deck. Uh, this Rize. Whenever she enters play, you reveal top three. Choose a rabbit house character, add it to your hand, discard the rest, and then you choose a card in your hand, dump, uh, dump it in the waiting room. So she hand fixes you, dump, lets you dump climaxes early. She just finds every card in your deck. She does everything. So, and Sounds whole, broken. Yeah, the whole deck is based around finding her and cycling her. Here we have the two back row assists. One, two. Uh, this Chino is on your opponent's battle step. You give 500 to a character, and then she's a self-resting brainstormer. Uh, so you pay one mill herself. Uh, pay one tap herself, mill four for any climax that a rabbit house character to your, have, to your hand. Uh, this Rize is a 500 global to rabbit house characters, and she can pay a stock in order to snop a level zero in front row. That's good. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of Kokwas here. Uh, this Rabbit Ear Park of Kokwa is on play mill two. If you mill a Climax, she gains 3,000 power, so she gets potentially 4,500. Uh, and she's a level zero suicider. This is our Ricky clone for the deck. On play, pay one, clock yourself one, salvage a character, and then clock yourself again. Seems like a big cost, but it's or, worth, I'm no, assuming. I think it's just... Oh, no, it's just pay one clock yourself, salvage one. It's only one clock? Yeah, it's only one clock. Okay, I was okay. thinking of the Homer card from Monica. <laughs> uh, this is a generic Chino. She pays uh, on play, draw a card, discard a card, so she filters your hand again. Uh, she's really good for like finding your combo pieces. And here we have, lastly for level zeros, we have a Mekon clone. Uh, yeah, we have a little Mekon clone. <clears throat> Get fifteen hundred to a rabbit house, <clears throat> and that's our level zeros. Pretty, pretty good utility. Sweet. <clears throat> now we have our first level one. This is Mekong clone number two. <laughs> uh, she gets plus a thousand power if you control all rabbit house characters, and she climax combos with the blue one. Uh, when she reverses a character, sh you get to search your deck for a Rabbit House trait character and add it to your hand. Here we have an Ellie clone, uh, 4,500 base, but she gets 500 for each other Rabbit House character. And then when she reverses a character, if you control a Kokwa, she becomes a Nechan Chino <laughs> until your next turn. The memes. It doesn't actually, the name thing <laughs> actually does nothing. It's just, uh... <laughs> It's just a tribute to the anime. <clears throat> we have a level one suicider who also on play you can discard a climax to salvage a character. Really good for once really again good. fixing your hand. Uh, here we have a level a one one Chino who is forty five hundred, but she gains three K if you control a Cocoa or a Rize, and you should control at least a Rize for as your back row. I know you were talking about uh, bumping this up. Yeah, I kind of like, I kind of think I should play a second one over like one of these. But she's really good because she hits super huge numbers and this deck kind of has issues with super big guys. Uh, but she hits 7-5 if you control a, a Rize and then she also gets plus 500 when she attacks for each other rabbit house. So she hits huge numbers. And then... Lastly, for level one, we have a pair of backups. There's one, one zero, fifteen hundreds, pretty standard. All right. Uh, for level two, got, the one. One. <laughs> got the one. <laughs> the one backup. This is a sat counter. In order to kill an early play, it's really good. Sat counters are OP shit. Uh, 
At least I'm pretty sure it's a set camera. <laughs> He's like, that's how I was playing it anyway. That's how I was playing it. I'm sorry if I cheated. Uh, I never actually played this card. I actually... Uh, I never played my 2-1 either. <laughs> it, I never was in a scenario where I either never had it or I couldn't, I couldn't back up and say whatever I was trying to anyway. Uh, this is the main finisher of the deck. This is the reason why you play Blue Red Rabbit Hell. So, this card's busted. <laughs> this card, card's real good. This card gains 500 for each other Rabbit House character, so she hits base 11, uh, 1100 with a full field. On play, draw to ditch one, and she climax combo is with this. <laughs> you, It's a pretty hefty cost, but whenever she attacks, you pay two, discard two, and then she burns one, burns one again, and then gains 6k power. <laughs> Yeah, so the six... she has a seventeen hundred base with a fulfilled. I know. I was trying to uh, trying to back up my character yesterday, and I asked my opponent that was playing this card how big it was, and he was like, "It's eighteen <laughs> five. So the card yeah, gets it gets huge. huge. <laughs> it gets huge. Uh, this is kind of complimentary to our chinos, uh, our Coco chinos. Uh, she gets a thousand power. Yeah, she gets a thousand power if all your characters are. Rabbit House. On play, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Rabbit House trait character, you burn one. And her last ability, which is unused, is you can pay six stock to shoot for five. <laughs> and you're not going to use that. You're, you're not going to use yeah, that. That's kind of stock. <laughs> you're just going in for the Chino. Uh, the Coco Chinos. And then lastly, we have President Exchange Rize. Uh, honestly, if if I had the early play condition, it'd be a lot it'd be a lot better. But I didn't play it. Uh, this should be the TD card, but I don't have that, so I was playing this instead. Uh, this card gains 2K power. Uh, this card has an early play if you control a specific, like this um, this Chino and a 2-1 Cocoa. Uh, on play heal and then. If you control two or more other Rabbit House characters, it gets plus 2k. So she, hit, she hits 11.5, which is okay. That's pretty decent. Yeah. And then we have the, the split of Pants and Gates. Pants and Gates. All right. Both 1k uses. So, what'd you play? Let's go over that. Oh, well, I had a buy round one, so... <laughs> so, we got that. <laughs> uh, it was a free win. Uh... Round two, I played against Konosuba. It was a blue-yellow goddess adventurer deck. I think there was red in it. I don't remember the deck all that much. Uh, he got unlucky and drew like a lot of climaxes, so I just burned him to death. Yeah, round four for for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, round three, I played against Zero Nut Skyma, which was awesome. Yeah, that was my only loss for this event. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that guy destroyed me. I was honestly terrified because he was hitting really big numbers and I was not. I uh, ended up burning him out with Coco and Gino though. Oh yeah. Because uh, that card's good. Card steals games away. Uh, round four, I played the mirror and I, I, I canceled one attack the entire <laughs> game. <laughs> Even though I'm playing a deck of just pure compression control. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was very unlucky. It was I, a very unfortunate. I know you started with, what, five Climaxes? I started with, like, five Climaxes. Like, out of your deck? Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty terrible. Uh, here's some cards that you should consider. Uh, this is the 1-0 sack counter. Uh, honestly, no. Okay, so this is a free fresh. That's what it is. It's not a set counter, it's a free fresh. All right. There we go. We, fuck, we knew we fucked up somewhere. Uh, <laughs> this is the set counter. This card's OP. This is a choose one of two with this card. So you don't play the set so counter. So you don't play the yeah. set counter, you play the finisher. But this card is really good if you play any other version of uh, Gochiusa. This is obviously a consideration. I'm wanting to really play a second one of these. This is the card that lets you early play this Rize. She's really good, 
but I didn't want to pay like the I didn't want to like all that stock requirement because sometimes I had trouble just playing this card. Yeah. Uh, but she's really good. She gives any level three or higher uh, character plus two K, and I think it's when she's played from hand she gets a thousand power. I'm not too certain on this card. I didn't really care for it, but <laughs> I might play it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is. I'm pretty sure this is an early play bomb. Seven five two one, so pretty good. Um, and then this is another backup you could consider playing. It's a when you use its effect, it's a leaf counter. And leaf counters are good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a leaf counter. I could be wrong. I suck at this game. Oh, I can't read this shit. <laughs> yeah, we only got second. Yeah. I would play this deck again. Deck's real fun. Yeah, like, this was the games. most represented deck there yesterday, I think. Yeah, the deck's really good. Like, complete compression control with a really good in-game finisher. Not much more you could really ask for. Maybe hitting bigger numbers, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's still really, really good. <laughs> yeah. All right. The gameplay of the deck is really simple. You just play this card... And you just continuously loop it. This card finds, like, this card again. Or you'll find this to salvage this when they kill this. Because they always kill this card. Super small. Uh, there actually was a few cases where they couldn't beat over, like, a 3-5. Oh my gosh. So, like, she sat around for a few turns. And that was pretty great. Uh, your level 1 is pretty straightforward. You just start plussing with your Shimakaze. And then... If you need a, like a beat stick, you have a couple. Your level 2 is practically the same. You just set up for level 3, and your level 3 is just burn them to death. And you hope you get there. Uh, generally, you'll crash your field. That way they can't actually get their pluses, because a lot of decks seem to have like their own plus single climax combos. Yeah, it's a, like a standard thing now. Yeah. And because you keep your field, uh, because you keep your field clear, and you like mill through your deck so fast, generally your compression is so high that you'll negate a lot of attacks. There was one game where I negated like three attacks on a single turn. It was great. That that sounds freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, so anything else about the deck? Anything? You should play it. You, you should play it. All right. Play it. It's great. Uh, you're playing Modica next weekend. Probably. Probably. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, sweet. Thanks. Congratulations on your second place finish. Thanks.